Welcome back to Madman Review. In this episode, we will be talking about budget rifles. Not just any budget rifles. I'm talking about the new ones that recently came out. Of course, when you spend that little money, corners have to be cut. But it does not make the guns bad by any means. The budget gun market has always been on a race to the bottom, which is a good thing for us as consumers. Manufacturers are doing their best to make the best guns while minimizing expenses. This time, however, it appears that manufacturers are changing up their games. Rather than offering guns so cheap that you can trade in your iPhone, or a few of them, you put more effort into delivering values. That means you would have to spend a little bit more cash, but you're getting a much better gun. That means better build quality, finishes, as well as other goodies such as adjustable triggers, threaded barrels, and more. Regardless, you are getting what you paid for. If you can just spend a little more cash, I highly recommend you go for the guns below because they will serve you well for a very long time. As I always say, it's always cheaper to buy a good gun than to buy three bad guns that fail you every other day. You get a lot for your money and you would have a much better time with a well-made firearm. Frustration or lack thereof is something that you cannot really put a price tag on, after all. Without further ado, I have here a list of 10 recent firearms from the likes of CZ, USA, Diamondback, Stoger, and Remington Arms that I think are worth every penny. Diamondback Firearm Sidekick We'll start this episode with something on the small side. Let's look at firearms from Diamondback. They have a reputation for making affordable, ultra-compact, semi-auto pistols primarily for self-defense. For this reason, some are surprised that Diamondback come out of nowhere and introduce this single-action revolver. This 22 caliber revolver is different from its peers in the sense that it comes with a cylinder that holds 9 rounds and swigs out from the left side of the frame, much like a double action revolver. You get two additional cylinders that come with your purchase, one for the 22 Magnum and the other for the 22 Long Rifle. Of course, the swing out action might not be for everyone, but one cannot deny that it really helps with reloading. But if you do not care about your cowboy image, I have a handy tip for you. Swapping cylinders on this thing is actually faster than reloading. In theory, you can swap out the cylinders as if you are swapping mags on a semi-auto pistol. You would get weird looks from others at the range, but can they perform the same tactical reload like you with other revolvers? I don't think so. Price is slightly above $300. I would say that this is a value-packed option, not to mention the kick you get for swapping cylinders. CZ Bob White G2 Southpaw All the shotguns from CZ are good value. Evidently, good is not enough for CZ, and they decide to introduce the Southpaw to its Bob White G2 offerings. What is new with the Southpaw compared to its peers? For one, the cast-on stock is bent for left-handers, and it comes with a 28-inch barrel. There is an intermediate version that is suited for right-handers, but it has a slightly shorter stock and a barrel at 26 inches. Both can be had in 3-inch, 12, or 20 gauge. The Southpaw is a no-nonsense gun. Without the Bluetooth speaker in the stock and Wi-Fi connectivity, it does its job as a shotgun, and it does it very well. It has two triggers, a manual safety and extractors, pretty much everything a bird hunter needs. You get five chokes and can take steel as well as TSS and heavy shot, which you can get with the cash you have left after buying this budget but value packed shotgun. CVA Cascade SB Series CVA is not exactly known for modern firearm manufacturing. Rather, you can find their name associated with muzzle loaders. The Cascade SB stands for short barrel, goes for about below $700 and get plenty of handy features. It's a bolt action rifle that can be had with either a 16.5 or 18 inch barrel depending on the chambering, which includes a 6.5 Creedmoor, 3.8 and the 300 Blackout. The whole package weighs under 7 pounds. The muzzle is threaded but the bolt only has a 70 degree throw, it comes with a smooth round handle. The gun is fed from its 4 round mag and it sits right into the fiberglass reinforced synthetic stock that features a veil tack black pattern. You get adjustable length of pull for better comfort for both young and adult shooters alike. CVA also gives us a soft touch finish to improve handling in harsh environments. As for the barrel, it's made with 4140 carbon steel and is coated with graphite black Karakoti. Ruger Wrangler Bird Shed The Ruger Single 6 is a 22 pistol that I think everyone should have, but those things cost a fair bit. Ruger knows this all too well, and this renowned manufacturer wants to bring their loyal customers a similar experience at a much lower price point. Introducing the Wrangler. It made its debut back in 2020. It was an instant success. It's basically a single-six clone, but it features an aluminum alloy frame with a Karakoti finish. 
It was such a success that Ruger now made another Wrangler with a birdshed grip frame and a 3.75 inch barrel. You can get it in a burnt bronze, silver, or black Karakoti finish, and it is only a few hundred bucks. CZ USA 600 Alpha. Another value packed option, the 600 Alpha is a bolt action rifle that comes with a variety of options. You get to pick from varying barrel lengths from 18 to 24 inches and 9 chamberings, from the 223 Remington to the 300 Winchester Magnum. The whole package weighs between 6.6 .6 to 7.9 pounds. Regardless of the configuration, the rifle is made using a lightweight aluminum receiver that comes with a two piece Picatinny rail so you can mount an optic of your choice. Stock is fiber reinforced and comes with a comb placed parallel to the bore, perfect for modern shooting styles. The bolt handle is quite large and you get a detachable box mag. You can also slap on a suppressor on the barrel if you want. On top of all this, you get a two position safety and adjustable trigger. Mossberg MVP 300 Blackout Patrol. Ammo compatibility is important in the field. If you need a bolt action by your side in addition to an AR-15 or the AR-10, then the Blackout is probably for you. It uses the same ammo and mag. This variation is chambered in the 300 Blackout, which is the perfect cartridge if you want to shoot suppressed. You get a threaded muzzle and an A2 style flash hider that you can remove. The 16.25 inch barrel is pretty short and the whole length of the rifle is 36.5 inches. Though the barrel has quite the heft, the whole unit is only 6.5 pounds. On top of this, you get an adjustable LBA trigger, a Picatinny top rail, as well as a pillar bedded stock. TriStar 16 gauge Bristol. The market for 16 gauge is making a comeback, and it's refreshing to see shotguns at this range made for upland hunting, especially if they stick to the classic designs. Recently, TriStar pushed out the Bristol. It's a Turkish single trigger double gun that you can get in either a straight grip or a pistol grip. Regardless of the configuration, you get 28 inches of chrome line barrels and five interchangeable choke tubes. The whole thing weighs 6.5 pounds, which is about the perfect weight for a 16 gauge. The stock is a beautiful walnut with an oil finish, which lends itself to the overall classic look. You might surprise people when you show them this shotgun and tell them the price. Of course, the Bristol is not cheap, but you are getting a lot of value. Rem Arms 870 Fieldmaster. The Fieldmaster is intended to replace the old Express. It costs more, but you get more value from it as well. This pump action rifle is chambered at 3 inch 12 gauge and can be had with either 26 or 20 inch barrels basically plug and play with the Fieldmaster. The gun is ready to go the moment you take it out of the box, which cannot be said about the Express. What else is better about the Fieldmaster? Well, you get a grade A walnut stock that comes with Wingmaster fleur-de-lis checkering, a better wood to metal fit, and a better metal finish that is more resistant than rust compared to the Express. You also get swivel stubs and the receiver is tapped and drilled. The action bars also help smoothen the gun cycling as well. With your purchase, Remington also throws in IC, M, and full chokes. Rite GPS XL. Rite has made a name for itself for making really amazing inertia semi autos at a price that put famous manufacturers to shame. Now they're introducing the GPS XL, a pump action shotgun that's chambered at 3.5 inch 12 gauge. The GPS in the name means geometric pump action, which should allow for a shorter stroke compared to other 3.5 inch slide actions. Instead of a hammer forged tube, the barrel on the GPS XL has a deep bore drilled barrel that allows for a more consistent pattern. You can get this with a black synthetic stock or a camo for a bit more cash. Stoger SDR 9SC Ultra compact 9mm semi-autos dominate the handgun market. The reason is pretty simple. People are starting to take their personal safety very seriously. While a trained officer of the law can resolve many situations, they cannot make it there on time before someone gets hurt. So rather than relying on the police, people are looking for ways to protect themselves. A handgun, especially a very small one, checks all the boxes. Stoger, although known for their shotguns, dipped their toe into the 9mm pistol market in the form of the SDR-9. Evidently, it's not small enough, so they introduced the SDR-9SC as a super compact striker-fired 9mm semi-auto with a polymer frame. It weighs less than 23 ounces and is about 6.5 inches long. You get the standard three-dot sights, but you can get one with a removable slide plate so you can slap on a mini reflex sight or a night sight. There you have it folks, these are my top 10 picks for budget valued packed guns that were introduced to the market recently. Of course, this is just my opinion and if you know of a value packed gun that should make the list, why not let us know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, it means a lot. Also, if you want to see more content like this, consider hitting that subscribe button 
and the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everyone.